intimately involved, either you're supporting or you're part of one. Um, yay, if somebody's wearing their, Daniel's wearing their Shios t-shirt right now. Shios has been um, a community-driven block producer since the beginning, and our mission is to take the block rewards that we earn and put them into scholarships for women in technology. Um, I joined Shios early, uh, we founded it to basically learn about how to build on the network. We were really excited to figure out what the nodes were going to be like and how the network was going to operate. And so in that process, my company Sense uh, was fortunate to be able to, to uh, move into the EOS network as well. So we had, uh, if you saw our project uh, at the beginning of this year, we were building on top of Ethereum and we had built Sense to uh, be a messaging platform where you could share and also earn for your knowledge. We've evolved it in a sense chat. So now we have made the first decentralized uh, messenger that is based on the EOS blockchain. So let's see if I can uh, go ahead and play. I'd like to do a, um, I'd like to be able to still see the video so I can see your chats, but let's see if I can do it this way. Can you see the whole screen? Uh, we are just waiting for it to load, uh, but we were ab able to see it. Okay. I'd like to see your chat still. So. Okay, let me know if that goes full screen. No, uh, we right now have a blank window. Let me see if I have to okay, wait Okay, I think that minute. doesn't like full screen. I'll just show you guys the version here and then this way I can keep your chats open as well. All right. Um, cool. So I'm, I love that we already know that the blockchain is the, uh, the new internet, you know, and that's what we're really building. And I think that that's something that I've been really excited about having built different tools along the way um, and seeing the evolution of the internet for the first time ever, we're getting to a point where we can have security and privacy in the way that it really matters. Um, and that's something that I think that has never really happened before. Um, inherently, the entire internet was built free. And uh, we think we think it was built free, but what it was really built for was um, you know, the tools that have the infrastructure costs that we're aware of have to be paid by someone. And so uh, over time, monetization had to happen in a way where it doesn't actually benefit the user. So, you know, if you were on the internet 20 years ago, you saw banner ads and those banner ads were, uh, were not really targeted. And over time, the data collection meant that things could be targeted. So, you know, now today we're sort of trading um, we're trading our data and we're trading for our privacy for the usage of our different tools on the internet. Um, the numbers are pretty amazing. I really love to share this. This was updated um, as of uh, this midsummer. So, you know, we're over half of the world now on the internet and, and even more of them having a mobile phone and Hello, uh, Crystal, I think we lost your voice. I don't know if it's just me or everybody else. Can you still hear me? Yes, now we can. All right, so I think it froze a bit. Okay, can carry okay. On. Um, let me... Uh... All right, so I think we may have lost Crystal here. Humans that are on the internet. Uh, yes, yeah, I think we got you back. So Crystal, yeah, I think we were losing your voice. Uh, I don't know if uh, you're still around. So we have lost your video, but uh, we can see your slides. So if you can continue, maybe we can uh, Okay, check. maybe I'll drop my video so that it's a little easier. Yes, I think it looks fine now, so you can keep going. Cool. Um, you know, so anyway, a third of the of the entire planet 
is on social media and we're just looking at Facebook, like not even thinking about, you know, WeChat, which is massive as well. There's billions of people. It's basically everybody who has a device. But the thing that's weird is that there are still only about 50 million cryptocurrency users accounted for, which is less than 1% of the entire global population um, and, you know, of, of internet users. Like this is a, a very small number. And so the opportunity is huge. And the reality is, you know, crypto is just as easy to use as a text message um, or it should be if we have the right tools. And I think that's what the EOS platform is allowing us to do. The thing that we're learning too in in the overall internet uh, is that humans are fundamentally very valuable. This is the the most valuable thing that we have on the internet today is human data. And advertising is a huge industry because of that. Um, so if you're in um, basically the, the global ecosystem other than in uh, China, the top apps our Facebook, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and Instagram, uh, the top four non-gaming apps. And I didn't even include the fifth one because that's four apps that are all owned by Facebook, one entity. And so, you know, that's the definition of centralization. Um, they're really able to use all of your data through these different tools. And in case you are using any of those tools, uh, these are the permissions that you give Facebook Messenger just Facebook Messenger. So there's weird ones like receiving and reading your text messages, like on your actual text or understanding your call list, who you've called, any actions that you have on your phone with or without the app open, you're giving it permission to do these things. And you wonder, you know, what is that data being used for? Why are they using that data? Even if they're not selling it, they're using it internally for purpose of retargeting you for advertising. And so I was doing some research. I found that these permissions that you give to Facebook Messenger that let you give it full access to your phone and um, your voice and your camera are also on some other really big apps. Like there's a, um, a an antivirus app that has 100 million downloads, for instance, and it has these exact same permissions that it's asking for. And so if you were to give these permissions to an antivirus app, isn't the whole point for it to just protect your phone what they're actually doing is they're grabbing all your data and they're reselling it. So they're, they're selling it, you know, anonymized, but to basically to advertisers. So I think like, you know, one of the biggest industries on the planet we still know is, is big data. And that's something that the blockchain is going to help us with. Um, there are a lot of great projects that are working on giving you value for your data on the blockchain. This is some of the data that blockchain uh, or that, well, that, that is out there today in big data. And some of the things I think are going to be really radically transformed with blockchain, like identity, health data, um, all of these things are collected just by, you know, you having these services turned on. So, you know, if you have your phone location data showing for Facebook Messenger, for instance, um, that's going to collect no matter where you are. And so they know if you've been to the hospital, uh, they know that, you know, you've done different trips around the world, like they probably know more about you than your family does. So the, you know, the idea really is just um, how do we go from a world that has everything centralized that is controlled by one authority or one company and put it back into the hands of the users, which is decentralized. And, uh, and that's where, you know, I think this is where the big opportunities are for the network. We have now the, the potential to put every application across all these nodes globally on the network without central storage, and that protects us. And that makes it so that we can make choices with our data and we can make choices of how we use different products. So, um, you know, I think that I, I like to say we should decentralize that. I, I don't think decentralization is necessarily the goal for all things, but I think that the idea, like if we take the word decentralization, we look at it not from an anarchist perspective, but more from a perspective of empowering people and users. This is what we really wanna do. And I think that for the first time, the EOS software is letting us um, really see real world applications. So I'm, I'm sure that uh, most of the people here have seen some of these real world applications. This was released by, uh, by Block One, which was the entire ecosystem, um, I think about a month ago. And on the, if you look at social network, there's two here, CryptoDM and Sense. Those are both our products. Uh, CryptoDM was 
basically it's really easy. You just associate your Telegram handle with uh, your account and then anyone can send crypto to Telegram and you don't have to share your identity. You just share your EOS account and then you get a message inside of Telegram. Sense builds on top of that and uh, and Sense Chat is, is the thing I'm really excited to share with you today. So this is the first time we're kind of showing these screens and if you have access to the beta, you've already seen this, um, you can grab access um, to Sense Chat here. So I'm going to play a video. If it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't work, just let me know if the video lags a little bit. But I, what I want to show you is the account creation and setting up on SenseChat. So you know, right now we are the first decentralized me messenger built on EOS. Um, we set you up with a free EOS account when you sign up. So you can also import an account if you want to. And this is uh, so that you can obscure your identity. You don't have to share your phone number. You don't have to share your email address. Um, and you can have as many accounts as you want because it's the EOS network. Um, we ask for these permissions so that we can access your camera when you're using your video. Um, nothing is stored on our side. Right now in the beta, we have, uh, we're, we're offering free tokens for beta feedback. So you'll see the Instabug pop up and ask you for some feedback. Um, if you do want to sign up for the beta, it's just sense.chat. We have a pretty long list of people, but if you contact me directly, I'll just give you earlier access. Um, and it's really a basic uh, you know, EOS wallet that has sense tokens and also has EOS, so we can add any token in the future. And we also have what we call smart contacts. And smart contacts are the EOS accounts. You can interact with any account on the EOS network if they have the SenseChat app, it'll send them a notification. Um, and if not, it'll just send them a transaction like a normal wallet would. So in the, um, in the messaging side of it, everything is completely secure and it's stored on your local device. So this is an example of sending a message to someone. Um, if you remember the early days of, uh, of like AOL and ICQ and all these messengers where the other person had to be online to connect with them, we make sure the other person is online to be able to make that connection. Um, it's truly peer to peer. So crypto enabled means that you can send a transaction within the chat and you can send it to any account. If you have this um, app installed, you will also get notifications from other EOS transactions. So like, let's say you use the links wallet or you use scatter or you use something else. You don't have sense. If I have sense, I will still get a notification. So I get a push notification that I have something in my wallet, which is kind of cool because it's just a notification layer on top of uh, the EOS network. So we're super happy to uh, to get all the tokens involved too. If you have an EOS token or you have a project that you want to you know, maybe integrate into our, our wallet, we'd be happy to, uh, to chat about that. And then finally, uh, these are just going through cycling through the wallet right now. Um, we also have probably the biggest feature. So this is text. We have text chat, but the biggest thing that we've done that we're really excited about is we put video on the blockchain. So we do a handshake uh, when you have a video connection and this is true peer to peer video calling. There is absolutely no server in between. We don't put a server in between your text chat in between your video chat, there is no spying, there's no censorship, there's no servers, we don't have any of your data. Um, this is 100% private to you and the other user. So if you have ever wanted to have a private chat, um, which I'm sure in the crypto world we all do a lot of, uh, this gives you the option to be able to connect and, uh, and just have that chat and not worry about if it's being encrypted or not encrypted because it's not being stored anywhere. Um, so that's, you know, it's a very basic. Uh, hi, Crystal. I think we again lost your voice, but uh, it's an amazing app. I think we are really glad to see the demo uh, while we are waiting for you to come back online uh, from your voice perspective. Uh, and I think I've seen the comments. It's really people are very impressed. And I don't think uh, 
anybody wants to wait and they want their hands on this app. So I'm sure you'll get a lot of requests today uh, to get early access yeah. from this uh, summit. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to send you that request. So I hope I will get in. <laughs> Hello, uh, Crystal, are you still there? Um, everybody that's in the beta right now, we're on testnet. We are rolling it out to the app store and mainnet in a couple of weeks. So in these next few weeks, the feedback that we're getting from the community is really important. No, that's a lot of fun. It looks like, and I think, uh, I would love to try the videos. I think it's the, I really got excited about, uh, having a secure video chat, which uh, doesn't go through any big company yeah, servers. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the other thing that's interesting is, um, have you ever, when you're doing a large transaction on Ethereum or on Bitcoin, you send a test transaction? So, you know, you send like a dollar, you send $10 because of, you're not sure is the hash right? This is the cool thing about EOS is we have these human readable accounts. But what else is great is you could just connect. So I can connect to you through a chat make sure that it's you voice verify we could just do audio video verify and then send you the transaction mm -hmm. i don't need to send a test transaction i can just send it to you once i've verified that it's you oh, that's uh, that's really great i think this is exactly what we uh, envisioned when we talked about eos uh, having human readable account names and no transaction fee i think uh, your app is really demonstrating what uh, eos capabilities are uh, and I think uh, it's all about uh, getting in hands of enough people to create the network effect. Uh, that's my feeling when I look at this. Um, so congratulations on the progress you have made. And uh, I hope that uh, we, all of us can start using Thank it. Thank you. As Absolutely. I'm really happy to share with everyone. Um, yeah, connect with me on uh, on Twitter or on, you can connect with me, same, same handle, Crystal Rose on, uh, I'm just going to put it into the chat right here. Um, on Telegram, sure. and uh, you know, we we really appreciate what Telegram has done for the community as well. Um, you know, it's it's not like we have to compete with the centralized messengers so much as we're giving another option when people want that option. So when I think of Telegram, I think of it like Twitter. It's like public. Um, they do read the chats. You know, you can use it encrypted, which is great. WeChat, same thing. Um, uh, WeChat is censoring chats and unfortunately suspended all the crypto conversations. I don't know if you guys saw that um, recently, but if you had a public account talking about crypto, you were suspended. So, you know, this is just a new a new way to to do things. And and I think that's really um, it's really important to think about how the EOS network and others are going to allow us to decentralize, you know, every type of application. No, that's perfect. I think uh, this is great and very exciting, Crystal, and thanks for coming and uh, showing us. Uh, and we will just take a few quick questions. Uh, we are running a little bit over time, but I think uh, we had some technical difficulties. So if anybody has any question for Crystal, please uh, fire away. But I, all I see is just uh, yeah. people are just amazed at Thank the progress you. and the uh, availability. Uh, Dan's <laughs> asking, can we build on top of it? Yeah. That is the goal. So we want to yeah. create an SDK that allows you to put chat inside of your app. And I think that is the, the next big goal for us is to work with developers. So if you have a project that you're working on and you're thinking of integrating uh, in, any chat, get in touch with us because we'd love to maybe test with you as we're building out the SDK. Sure. And I think that's great. And I think uh, this is what uh, makes a lot of sense for uh, maybe just what people are doing with other programs. So I think Dan has another follow up question, whether you have an API already or you are not yet, but it, it's on the roadmap. And that's something that if we have someone to plug into, we could work even faster. Sure. And uh, I think, yeah, that's a good question from Elim. I think from whether it's on Android, what other platforms you're supporting? Is it on right iOS now? It's right iOS. Now? We're releasing in December. Right after that is Android. We're doing Android simultaneously with web. So you will be able to use it from any mobile or desktop browser as well. All right. Sounds good. And by the way, we are streaming this on YouTube on uh, Investing with a Difference. And I'm seeing a lot of people like, you know, I already got a comment. How can we get hold of SenseChat? I think this is the, going to be the biggest question. I hope uh, we move along with your beta program and more and more people get access. So thanks Thank a lot you. for coming in uh, and presenting this amazing app you're building. Um, and we will 
So now look for the next session. Thanks a lot, Crystal. And uh, let us know if you have any final words to say to the Thanks, people. Thanks, guys. Here. Let's keep making sense on EOS. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's make sense. Bye. Thank you. And bye for now. So, guys, this was Sense Chat. It was some really great stuff which is happening on EOS. And I think what you heard is uh, why it is important uh, that uh, there is no transaction fee and why, why you need to have human readable uh, account names. And while now the next, I'm going to look for uh, EOS Canada representatives. I need to check if Alexander is already on. And then we can get going. So we are running uh, like a few minutes behind, not an issue. I think we can catch up on this as we have seen in uh, uh, previous cases. Uh, but I would jump on to the next session, which is about Diffuse. So we go from a great app which was uh, which is really solving issues around uh, the privacy of your data to the great tools uh, which uh, I think uh, your Canada is bringing here with diffuse. Hey, very good. Hi, Thank Legend. you. How are you doing? How are you? Going good, and I think we were hoping to chat for quite a long time, and this is the opportunity great. we got here. So we'd love to have you here. I'm super stoked to be here with you guys. All right. So yeah, I think we have been talking to a lot of dApps. We are talking to a lot of other tools and uh, EOS ecosystem uh, people. Like you know, and EOS Canada has been. I think you have been churning out a lot of uh, content for developers, not just uh, uh, the great uh, block production producing <laughs> you are doing. And I don't know how to call that. It means we call it mining Blocks. in the rest of the crypto world. And block producing is like very very unique. It's very difficult to say like you know what you guys, you guys are doing. So why don't you explain to us uh, this right, diffuse right. initiative? So uh, maybe, maybe we can so yeah, okay. Well, you, maybe some people don't know me. Alex, I'm CTO from uh, EOS Canada and also Diffuse. And uh, so I'm really excited here to present a few awesome features that uh, uh, that we got uh, great feedback from the community and got the community really excited about. So I, I thought I'd be sharing that with you guys here. But let me tell you first why we decided to do Diffuse, right? Um, is we believe that really powerful adoption of blockchain is going to come through some awesome user experience, right? And uh, we looked around and we found no platform that really helped developers build great